thing has happened, uh, the thing that many, many fractal users have been wanting for a very long time. Um, Cliff has added the most legendary, most expensive drive pedal that there is, the Clon. So let's just dig in and see what it does, talk about it a bit, put it into a preset. I think the reason that um, it wasn't in there before was due to some sort of disagreement and possibly someone being rude. But uh, that guy seems to have been forgotten slightly. Anyway, yes, we now have a clon. We have a clon to play with, so I'm going to build a preset here. Uh, let's make it so that it will be one day FM3 friendly, because since this is a drive block update, I'm going to imagine that, in theory, we should get this across all fractal devices, or current fractal devices at some point. Uh, you're going to watch me try and use the software. Right, we're going to go with, I think, uh, a vibroverb type amp. Amp one. Uh, let's choose, or maybe, where are you, vibro? Vibroverb AA. And cab wise, let's just go for. Look at me. <laughs> I'm using the editor, guys. Uh, let's use this right here is my least favourite part of the fractal experience. Like choosing cabs and stuff. Let's go with this. Uh, now I need to turn it on, which I don't know how to do. Mute. <laughs> on a little bit of reverb let's have a nice little plate uh, where are you reverb plate so I think probably one of the more famous clon players would be John Mayer uh, Jeff Beck also used one uh, and you know at this point now I think Sean Tubbs is a, a chap who used one where are you Clone Chiron. Is there not an authentic page? Is there supposed to be an authentic page? Anyway. Go here, let me have a look. Ah, here we go. I can see it on this page. Why is it different on here? Anyway, so we've got gain, treble and output. Um. So, first of all, a lot of people tend to run a clone with with not much gain at all. Um. And I think we got a dual gain pot. I think that's part of what's going on with the clients. A fairly unique circuit. Definitely has more gain than a tube screamer. Um, in terms of actually being a transparent drive. I would say something like the Timmy would probably be more transparent um, in terms of having less of a mid boost. Uh, let's have a little look, like a Jan Ray maybe. Uh, you know, or where are you, Tim? Tim for mid.
the RC boost, which is a, a, a new... But what you can actually do with the, the Klon, it's actually got quite a bit more gain than you might think. typically the way you might hear it being used but totally capable of these kind of hairier tones um, so I'm going to bring that game way back down and Really powerful kind of treble tone control as well. You know, once you get the treble up a bit, you get to me a bit of that blues driver type. It was designed by a guy who worked at MIT, I think, right? So yeah, the gain, you know, totally usable, the whole range of the pedal, if you wanted a higher gain tone. Um. What I might do is come in here and adjust that high cut actually on. There. There's quite a low high cut on that if that's supposed to be like that. 495 is where it comes standard. It's quite interesting. It's quite a lot of shelving on that if that is based on But 
I think, yeah, probably. It does clean up quite nicely because we got quite a bit of shimmery. Yeah, I think usable the whole range because it's got you know quite a, an active EQ in it. You can take the clipping out and it's still doing some stuff. But I might also do. location in here as well and I'm going to make an axe preset which has some dual lamping Yeah, you can think about it as being a, an opportunity for like an always on excite pedal or you know, a flat gain. thing or the BB preamp. Let's go with the RC boost.
a welcome addition to the uh, drives of the Axe FX. Hopefully it'll come to the FM3 soon. Uh, let me know if you want me to drop this into my Axe FX FM3 folder thing. Um, grab my presets in the link with the buy me coffee thing, right?